The AITC is an independent senior school with a trade focus. We were created by industry leaders for industry outcomes. We really do produce the best apprentices at the AITC. is any young person new to the AITC so regardless of year group or entry point everybody starts as a rookie 
The Rookies programme is ultimately it's the induction for young people into the AITC. So it starts with a few days on campus where they'll prepare for the Rookies Challenge at the camp. And on the camp they'll do work experience and start to develop some of those core skills such as safety, employability and community. Then they'll return to campus and they'll do assessments and safety training and theory to prepare them for the world of work. So the Rookies programme achieves two main things. Firstly, it's around community. Um, it's important that young people have a sense of belonging and that's what the, the Rookies programme is partly about, is to make sure that they make friends and they integrate into AITC life. Secondly, it's about ensuring that they are ready for the world of work. This is going to be new for most young people, so we need to give them the skills that they require to head out and be successful. So the Rookies programme is made up of three core components, um, be prepared, be challenged and be ready. The first component of the Rookies programme is be prepared and it focuses on industry preparation and also um, prepares the young people appropriately for the following week where they'll be at the challenge. So this will give young people an opportunity to get to know one another, to form some bonds but really, and really to make them feel comfortable and, and if they've got any anxieties about the following week, this is where we'll, we'll address that. There'll also be an incursion from the facilitators of EMU Gully who will tell them what to expect and how to get the most out of the following week. The second component is Be Challenged, which is a challenge camp that takes place at EMU Gully. Here young people uh, have already made friends with and, 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 and a sense of belonging with other young people from the from the Be Prepared activities that they've done and they've also got to know the staff on the campus really well which is great. So by this point they can go into those five days and really engage with the activities which will um, include their first work experience and we'll cover safety components, following instructions, PPE etc. But also gives them some really fun opportunities to, to, to explore character and values, team team working and mateship, so it's a great opportunity. So the last part of the Rookies program is Be Ready, um, where young people are working to ensure that they are work experience ready or WETS ready as we call it. So young people return to campus and they'll cover all kinds of different things such as safety, community, employability, character and values. Ultimately, um, completing assessments, activities, excursions and everything they need to be really successful when they go out to their first work experience. A key part of the Be Ready activities includes uh, preparing and training and mentoring young people to be successful in booking their first work experience. So it's not about doing it for them because uh, that's not what employers want to see, but it is about empowering young people to be able to plan and pick up that phone and capture their first work experience for themselves. As you can probably tell, we're really excited and really proud about our Rookies program. So if you have any questions or you want to find out a little bit more, please just reach out to any one of our industry team. Hi, my name is Richard Doring. I'm the Deputy Head of Industry Education Quality here at the AITC. My role is to look after everything to do with teaching and learning uh, and the curriculum. The AITC is a senior school for Year 10, 11 and 12 students. We deliver the Australian curriculum uh, at Year 10 level, which includes history, maths, English, science, health and PE, and a number of elective subjects that young people can choose from. The AITC is different to a traditional school in that we have an industry context for all of our teaching and learning. We have a five week education block followed by a seven week industry block where our young people are out in the workforce. We have small class sizes with a focus on academic rigor where all assessments are completed in class time. This is so our young people can focus on education when they're in class and focus on the workforce when they're out in industry. We also have tutorials available for our young people three days per week, so that if they need that additional support, they can access that. A Year 10 program is all about preparation. We prepare our young people by delivering a broad range of subjects, providing a support network, and delivering our unique wisdom program, which is all about developing character values. The wisdom program is a series of stories designed to develop the young person's character. They provide clear and concise messages that enable a young person to really relate to that value and know how to apply it in a real world setting. For any young people who require additional support, we have tutorials three days a week that they can access. 
During the enrollment process, we can also discuss any specific learning needs that your young person might have, so we can determine if we can support them appropriately. So the industry part of the program is really varied and it's really rich. It's also a lot of fun for the young people. But ultimately, it's about taking young people from A to B, where B is employable and ready for an apprenticeship. So everything that goes into the industry program is about that rite of passage. It's about that journey. So that will include, uh, for year 10, that will include trade tasters uh, at TAFE. It will include uh, mentoring and coaching. It will include uh, character and values work, which happens both on campus and during excursions. It will include work experience, but only when they're ready to go out to work experience. And will also include a great deal of feedback and coaching around what they need to do to improve. Ultimately, we need to get that per young person to point B, and that's exactly what happens in the industry book. So we know they're ready for work experience in a couple of ways. So first and foremost, we ensure that they have completed their WEX readiness assessments. So there's a number of key assessments that are around safety. They're also around maturity and, 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 and respect. So once they've uh, completed these assessments, that's one part of it. The other part is through observation. And that observation happens uh, in a number of different ways. It's how the young person shows up to campus, how the young person presents at TAFE, and also how they conduct themselves on things such as community service projects, uh, where we're doing community work or excursions. So all of these things gives a sense that a young person is ready to go out to the employer and wear our brand. So the young people do uh, a lot of industry preparation on campus itself. So some of that will be around character and values and teamwork. And they'll do this through all kinds of different ways, including practical activities. So it could be that they're practicing their hand-eye coordination and, and, and general tool use through building a wall activities or even build a room activities. It could also be designing and making furniture for the campus. There's all kinds of different ways that we will both assess and train the young people. Whilst we uh, appreciate that it takes a, a village to raise a child, which is why we include TAFE and employers in the development of our young people, we also understand the importance of the village elder who really looks after that young person and makes sure that they're following the right path. And those village elders for us are our industry consultants or our ICs. So every young person is assigned to an IC and that IC really helps them through every aspect of their industry and employability journey. So sometimes giving that kind of tough feedback or whatever it is that they need to learn, but also you know, identifying what they're doing well and, and, and giving them that pat on the back when they're for a job well done. So that industry consultant really um, takes them under their wing, trains them through, prepares them for the work experience, gains feedback from the employer and has that conversation with, with the young person and sometimes with the parent if necessary and, and, and builds them up ready to get to that point B where they're employable and signed up. Trade tasters are short practical training activities which are hosted and facilitated by our partners at TAFE. So they cover a number of different disciplines such as construction, automotive, engineering, etc. But it's not so much about the uh, content that they cover, but more about the skills that they develop in the young person. Uh, we don't transport them to work experience, we don't transport them to their apprenticeship, and nor do we transport them to TAFE. It's the responsibility of the young person to, to work out how to get there. Now we know that early on um, parents will help and often employers will help with transportation as well. But it's really important that the young person takes responsibility to arrange this. It's, um, it's, it's on them, it's their training, it's their job, it's their future and they need to take responsibility for it. Year 10 is specifically designed to give young people the time and the opportunity to explore the pathway that they want to follow. The coaching and the mentoring that young people receive from their industry consultant helps them to find what their passion really is and to make sure that they get themselves onto a pathway that they're going to be incredibly successful. The year 10 um, part of the program is, is fantastic and the, 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 the piece of advice I'd give to anybody thinking about when to start at the AITC is if you've got the opportunity to start in year 10, take it. It'll give your young person um, the time and the focus 
to really explore what the, the world of industry is all about and, 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 and to, to hone those skills to ensure that they're going to be as successful as possible. So in year 11 and 12, we deliver Central English, Central Maths, and our VET qualifications, which have a focus on innovation and entrepreneurship. Our wisdom program continues, and we also have a physical and mental health and wellbeing program, which continues to develop the whole person. The wisdom program is a series of stories designed to develop the young person's character. They provide clear and concise messages that enable a young person to really relate to that value and know how to apply it in a real world setting. For any young people who require additional support, we have tutorials three days a week that they can access. During the enrolment process, we can also discuss any specific learning needs that your young person might have, so we can determine if we can support them appropriately. So in years 11 and 12, um, young people will undertake what we call the 5-7 model. So that's five weeks in education, completing their studies, and seven weeks in their industry block. So the industry block is made up of seven weeks. This includes five weeks of term and the two weeks of holiday. The holiday time is where we encourage young people to complete work experience. And by this point, they actually might be signed up into a school-based apprenticeship or traineeship. Once signed up into a school-based apprenticeship or traineeship, that seven-week industry block becomes all about going to their employment. So at this point, they, they would no longer need to complete training at TAFE or work experience. They'd be dedicating all of that time specifically to their employer. So as most of us are probably aware, um, not many of us have learned the skills we need to get a job or to be employed from just sitting in a classroom. We've got to get out there, we've got to actually work for and with other people. And work experience is, is about giving exactly that opportunity. So it may be that you're on the broom for a little while and that's okay. But it may be that as trust grows with that employer, they give you more and more responsibility and more interesting tasks to complete. And that's just part of work experience. Are they paid? I suppose it depends how you look at it. Not in a monetary value, but they are paid in time from the employer, from experience from the employer, and feedback from both the employer and the industry consultant. Ultimately, every hour of work experience the young person completes takes them one step closer to that goal of a school-based apprenticeship or traineeship. So whilst they may not be paid in a monetary value, that time of work experience is gold. In the year 11 and 12 space, the industry consultant role is really important. They're continuing to coach and mentor and develop that young person, giving them the feedback from the employer. But as we, as we move through year 11 and year 12, we're really getting into hunting season. That young person is hungry to get the, 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 the school-based apprenticeship or traineeship, and the industry consultant is really keen to help them to get there. So by this point, the feedback that they're receiving on every single work experience is crucial. The young person is honing those skills, is looking for those areas that they need to improve, and they're going back out to the work experience and making sure that they're doing just that. So if a young person in year 11 is not sure what trade they want to do, the first point of advice would be to say, trust us and trust the system. What we will do is give the young person exposure to a number of different industries over a short period of time, and that helps us to identify their strengths and their areas for improvement, but also what really kind of lights them up and what they enjoy. So whilst a young person might say, oh, I really don't want to try that kind of industry, we'll say, give it a go, because it might help us just to find out what it is that you want to do. We're often asked, um, how does my young person get an apprenticeship? How do they secure the job? And there's no magic wand, but uh, let me explain one or two things. We, we, we talk to the young people about the importance of consistency. It's not about turning up and doing one or two great work, weeks of work experience. It's about turning up day in, day out, doing a great job for that employer. And as a general rule of thumb, what we'll say is when an employer thinks can't work without this young person, that's when the apprenticeship happens. Once the young person is signed up into a school-based apprenticeship or traineeship, it doesn't end there. Uh, we continue to coach that young person. We want them to be successful in that apprenticeship or traineeship. So we touch base regularly, both with the young person and with the employer, 
just to make sure that everything's going as planned and where necessary we can support, coach, mentor that young person further. It's important to remember that actually when a young person gets signed up into a school-based apprenticeship or traineeship, that's not the end of the journey, it's just the start of the next era. Okay, so the young person is, is signed up and they're employed, which is great. They're getting paid, which is fantastic for most young people. Um, but it's actually um, still really important to, for them to complete their schooling and, and their Queen Valley Certificate in Education or their QCE. We know that employers um, want wise, intelligent, mature young people who are actually going to have the skills they need to complete their apprenticeship once they finish school. And for that reason, um, clearly they need to complete their schooling and their QCE. A killer question we're often asked is, uh, when will my young person be signed up into an apprenticeship? And um, the, 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 the honest answer is, it really depends. And let me talk you through some of those things. So some of it depends on the industry that the young person wants to go into. Some of it depends on the employer and their employment cycle. For example, some will be much more keen to take on a young, year 12 young person than a year 11. Um, it also obviously depends on the young person's development and where they're up to at that point. So there's many things that uh, contribute to the when question. Um, sometimes employers will want a young person to have their driving license and own vehicle. So really, uh, the best thing here for me to suggest would be to talk to the industry consultant. If, if you do have an idea of, of the pathway you want to go into, then industry consultants will be, be able to give you an indication of when that might happen. Young people can lose their apprenticeship for, for all kinds of reasons on both sides, the employer or the young person side. It's just part of life in the same way that um, you know no job is necessarily forever. So what we do is we help that young person to pick themselves up, dust themselves off and get back out there and find their next position. Over 95% of our young people successfully complete the AITC with an employment outcome, including apprenticeships and traineeships. But of course the question could be, well, what if my young person isn't successful by graduation, what then? And what we say is there's no use by date with our relationship with parents or young people. We'll continue to work with both beyond graduation to ensure that young person gets a successful outcome. Our results speak for themselves. Nothing good comes easily and we know that. There's a lot of hard work that goes into making this a success. The support from the parents, the coaching and mentoring from the industry consultant the time and the effort put into work experience by the young people themselves. All of this goes into, uh, into finding that apprenticeship or traineeship. But that's what we do here at the AITC.